Police and staff may have stopped a serious attack on a local Boy Scout camp. Investigators say a former Boy Scout employee sent threatening text messages containing a countdown to the camp's big 100th anniversary reunion happening tomorrow in the Poconos. Eyewitness News reporter Brianna Strunk joins us live in our control center with the disturbing details. Brianna. Mark, when Pocono Mountain Regional and Pittston Police executed a search warrant on 36-year-old Christopher Corey's home in Luzerne County, they found four guns and various ammunition. Janet lives next door to 36-year-old Christopher Corey on Lori Lane in Pittston. Police believe Corey may have planned to attack Camp Akahila off Route 115 in Blakesley. Christopher was a very nice young man, very quiet. Uh, I wouldn't even dreamed of anything. Police say Corey was fired from his health officer position at this camp in 2014 due to mental health issues. Corey allegedly texted several current staff members over the years, talking bad about the program director and saying he wanted his job back. But staffers say recently his texts went from strange to dark. The text messages were concerning in nature as they referenced threats during a 100 year anniversary that the camp is going to celebrate this Saturday during a barbecue. The text counted down the days until this event while mentioning target shooting and guns. Staff members became concerned for campers and guest safety, so they contacted police. Uh, certainly may have prevented a, a tragedy from occurring this weekend. After recovering guns and ammo from Corey's house, investigators say everyone can learn a lesson from this. In this day and age, you never know. See something, hear something, you know, say something. And we spoke to Corey's parents, who also live at that home. They declined to speak on camera, but say their son is going through emotional issues lately. Northeastern Pennsylvania Council Boy Scouts of America sent us a written statement about this incident, which you can read over on our website, pahomepage.com. Live in the Control Center, Brianna Strunk, Eyewitness News. Very concerning, Brianna. Thank you. Police say Corey had a concealed carry permit, which was revoked and is now expired. A Monroe County judge denied bail because of the serious nature of this case. Corey faces a hearing scheduled for August 1st.